Hello and welcome to this short video on image assisted surveying. My name is Alistair Green and I'm the program manager of the SmartWorks Viva field surveying software. Image assisted surveying is available on the TS15 and TS11 imaging total stations. These total stations include an integrated 5 megapixel wide angle camera. Image assisted surveying is being able to use a camera live view and see what the total station sees. On the screen of the TS, images can be seen at 20 Hz, a true live view stream. When working robotically, you can see remotely what the total station sees, with images being passed from the CS to the TS over the radio link. So now we know that we can see what the total station sees, but how can this help us to reduce survey times? Well, let's first consider a manual or non-motorised total station. How would a manual total station normally be aimed at a target? The total station will be aimed towards the target either by simply pointing the total station in the approximate direction of the target or using the gun sights and then by looking through the telescope for a more precise aiming. Let's try again, this time using image assisted surveying. What we can now do is use the live stream view to do the course aiming. It is much easier, faster and more accurate to course aim using the live stream than the gun sights. Then, when you come to look through the telescope to precisely aim, the target will more than likely be in the telescope field of view. Let's take a look at the screen of the total station. Here you can see the excellent quality of the video. This is because the TS instruments use a full VGA screen, the first total station in the world to use such a screen. When we think about how motorised total stations are aimed at targets, the procedure is similar. Aim the total station in the approximate direction of the target, or use the gun sights, then look through the telescope for a more precise aiming. We can then use the automatic target recognition functionality, or ATR, of the instrument to turn and lock onto the target, and finally, measure the distance and store the point. With image assisted surveying on a motorised total station, you again save time. This time not only by using the camera live view, but also by using the new tap and turn functionality. Simply tap on the target within the live view image and the total station will turn to that location. Then press measure, the ATR locks onto the target and the point is measured and stored. Let's take a look to see what Richard sees on the screen of the TS. He has finished the course aiming using the live view and the target can be seen. He now taps onto the target and the total station turns to that location. He then presses measure to lock onto the target to measure and store the point. Did you see the crosshairs change shape when the measurement was made? We will discuss that in a few minutes. So far we have been measuring to a prism. Let's now think about reflectorless survey. Maybe we need to measure points which cannot physically be reached with the prism pole. In this case we want to measure to the corner of the window in the building. We can use tap and turn to move the total station close to the point we want to measure. We then zoom in to get a closer look and we should also change the colour of the crosshairs to make them easier to see. And now let's pause the video here to discuss about the parallax. Let's look again at the front of the total station. The wide angle camera is located here and the telescope from where measurements are made is located here. Because these two locations are different, there is a parallax between the two which needs to be corrected. If you look at the crosshairs now, you will see it is an open circle. This means the parallax is currently not corrected. If we measure a distance, then the instrument can correct for the parallax. The crosshair changes to a cross to indicate this. We can now accurately tap and turn to the desired target and then measure and store the point. We can also make use of the wide angle camera when working robotically. Note in this video clip we are looking at the screen of the CS field controller. The images from the total station wide angle camera are being passed to the controller over the radio link. Richard and we can now see that the total station is locked onto the prism on the top of the pole. Imagine Richard now needs to measure a point he cannot reach with the prism pole. Instead of having to return to the total station to make the reflectless measurement, he can do this from the field controller. Let's see how he does this. He first goes to the Leica TPS favourites to be able to measure to any surface. He can then use tap and turn to steer the total station to the point to be measured, zooming in and out as necessary. Notice that even though the images are being passed from the total station to the controller over the radio link, the pictures are still of perfect quality. The crosshairs are being shown as a circle, which means we need to correct for the parallax. He measures a distance and the crosshairs change to a cross. 
zoom in one more time and he can then accurately aim at the point to be measured. He can then finally measure and store the point. Imagine, even if the total station was only 30 metres away, this was much quicker than walking back to the total station to make the measurement from behind the instrument. OK, let's look at one more use case. Steep sighted measurements. Not easy, especially when you've forgotten the correct angle accessory. Here Richard is trying to measure reflectless to the top corner of the building, and of course he has forgotten the accessory. For him to now make the measurement would normally mean he has to change the location of the total station. Very time consuming. Now he can use image assisted surveying, tap and turn to course aim, and then correct the parallax to complete the fine aiming. He can then measure and store the point. OK, this is the end of our little video on image-assisted surveying. I hope you found it both useful and interesting. Thanks for listening.